Today, I'm gonna to be building a Bloxburg house, but I can only use basic shapes. So if you didn't know, I built a toddler's only house in Bloxburg and the house was fully made out of basic shapes. So I thought, how cool would it be if I made like an actual house using only basic shapes? Okay, so I've already got like the layout of the house. Also, if you didn't know, basic shapes in Bloxburg are very, very expensive. So I'm not gonna be building Buckingham Palace. I'm just gonna be building like a cute two-story modern loft. And the reason I'm going with like a modern look is because the roofs in modern houses are usually flat compared to if I were to do a suburban house, then the roof would be like all crisscross applesauce, very complicated. So, okay, the first thing I done was resize the basic shape so it matches the wall. So it's the same height and the same width. I literally cannot tell which one's the wall and which one's the basic shape. Also, another thing you should know about basic shapes is that if I color the basic shape, it's gonna be colored on both sides, which means it's going to be difficult to do a wall. So what we're gonna have to do is actually layer this basic shape. So <laughs> will it be expensive? Yes. Will it be worth it? <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Y'all, one basic shape costs $301. I'm gonna be poor. Oh, guys, in five minutes, she has accomplished a single wall. Can we just have a round of applause for that amazing progress? Okay, so the outside's gonna be white because it's like modern. And then the inside... Actually, you know what? I guess the inside can also be white. You know what? We actually don't need these inside walls. Okay, now luckily for me, I can just copy this and place it on this side. Oh, and I just realized there's gonna be a window at the front of the house. I guess for windows, we can use like transparent cubes. Y'all let me know in the comments how much you think this house is going to be. I think it's definitely going to be like 200,000. Okay so the lounge room is going to be here and then back here is going to be the kitchen. Okay so now I'm going to copy this window and then place it on the top like this and now we kind of have to outline this window. You know this is a basic shape challenge so I can't cheap out you know. We're going to go all or nothing. Now in modern houses, they usually like outline the window with like black beams. And then obviously we still need to outline the window. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared about how expensive this is gonna be. Okay, we've done it vertically. Now we just need to do it horizontally. Wait, did I get that right? Am I dumb? <laughs> Don't answer that. Okay, then to make this vertically, we can just use the transform tool. Bada beam, bada boom. Guys, I've spent like 20 minutes on this house and I'm not even like 5% done. <laughs> This is not funny. Okay, we've got all the basic shapes in the windows done, I think. Wait, I don't know if I like these windows. I don't I don't even care. I spent too long not to like them. Okay, the good thing is I can copy these windows, but it doesn't copy the bottom windows, which is really confusing. Anyway, I'm just gonna copy this window and place it here. This is where my bedroom is going to be and also where the bathroom is gonna be. Time to fix these windows because they didn't place. Now I have to spend five more minutes on windows. Okay, I think this window's done. Let's have a little squizzer. Did I just say squizzer? I don't even think that's a word. Guys, I feel like Bob the Builder right now. Like Bob the Builder? No, I only know of Alaska the Builder. You might have heard of her. Oh my gosh, I think the most difficult part of making these windows is getting these little cubes vertically and horizontally, measuring it up. It's very, very difficult and very time consuming. Okay, window four, all complete. Only took me like 10 minutes, but now we just have to copy this and... Are you kidding me? Why is it not letting me copy it? <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo that whole thing. This is sad, sad, sad days. There's gonna be a lot of things in this house that are very questionable. For example, these windows. Why did I just get the measurements wrong? Okay, I think that's it for the windows. I don't wanna add like too many. I think I um might copy this actually and place one more over here where the kitchen's gonna be. This little tiny cellular window cost $3,670. I'm not gonna buy that. I just bought it, okay. This window needs to turn around. Turn around. Oh my gosh, Stranger Things. I actually love Stranger Things. That's like my favorite show. That's a lie, my favorite show is Avatar The Last Airbender. Let me know in the comments what your favorite show is. You can tell a lot by a person by what their favorite show is. Okay, I think that's the last window all complete. So now we can just finish up these walls and hopefully we'll have a nice little setup going on. These walls are so expensive. Oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? I'm also gonna have to make the floor out of basic shapes. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself. The most annoying thing about these windows is I can't copy them. Also, for the front bit here, this is going to be a balcony, so I'm just going to put a basic shape kind of coming out so it's a little bit thick. And then with our good old trusty friend, the transform tool, we can bring this up. Okay, what's like a nice modern texture? I'm thinking slate. Like we can use a dark stone grey slate for the balcony. Okay, I'd say the balcony is coming along nicely. It doesn't look like a balcony at the moment, but just trust the process. As for the door, I have no idea idea how I'm gonna make this door work. I haven't even tested it out so um I guess we'll just see how it goes. Okay we've got our window done at the front now we just need to do the door which is kind of what I'm avoiding. We're just gonna have to do like an open door. For example it's just gonna be open like this which is probably not the safest option considering everyone can just like sneak in my house but you guys wouldn't sneak in my house right? <laughs> 
That is a lie. Last time I opened my server, you guys all broke into my house and placed water bottles everywhere. You guys are absolute menaces is what I'm trying to say. I really love this wood texture for the door. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to place it like this so it's kind of like swung open. And then using more basic shapes, we can kind of create like a little door handle. Okay, so I think we got the door. Oh my gosh. Wait, this house is looking so cute. Stop. Now for the fun bit, which is adding the floor. But instead of a floor, we're going to be using basic shapes. This is going to be one very expensive floor. So I think we're just going to do cloudy gray plants because you know we love a good plank moment okay the floor's done took me longer than expected and i'm also going to do the second floor last because if i add the roof i'm not going to be able to see what i'm doing because i can't turn the roof off because it's made out of a basic shape <laughs> yeah just when i thought i was finished with adding these walls i still have to actually add them in here like this is just painful okay so this is going to be the bathroom so we need privacy in the bathroom however i don't know how i'm going to do that oh <gasps> wait i just thought of something what if we kind of make it like a sliding door and obviously we can change the texture of the door so it's a little bit different and then we can put another basic shape at the top of this door okay i think this might work actually like in modern houses i always see sliding doors like this so it kind of makes sense wait it kind of turned out well when she succeeds at building now we just need to add the stairs now for the stairs i'm just going to use actual stairs because i'm not going to make all the furniture out of basic shapes because one that is expensive two very time consuming okay then i can just have the staircase here which means i think that is the layout all completed for the first floor okay so here is going to be the entry area now because this is a modern build i want to keep it as minimalistic as possible oh wait this is so annoying every time i place furniture i can't just put it up against the wall and it will automatically go down like this that is so annoying we just have a little plant with our chair oh wait can we use paintings on basic shapes okay we can now this is kind of like a long hallway so we're gonna put a long carpet to elevate the space you know what these carpets remind me of you know when you're in a hotel and there's like a really long hallway and you just like run down it and go crazy okay what else oh a hook rack obviously I don't think I'll ever stop using this build hack with the um coats and the towels. I don't know why. It's just like so aesthetic. Okay, that's literally it for the entry area. Again, we're going to keep it very simple, very minimalistic. As for the living room, on a big chunky fireplace right here. This is so annoying. I can't manually place things. If you don't know what I mean by manually place things. For example, if I put a wall here, I can just put the modern fireplace against the wall and it will measure up like this. But I can't do this here because this is made out of basic shapes. As for the lounges, I'm going to use these sophisticated lounges. When Whenever I see these lounges, I just think of like a modern house. Okay, now this is the perfect video to use my iconic coffee table because it's made out of basic shapes. Like I have to, it's just asking to be made. So if you're new to my channel, I have this iconic custom coffee table that I use like all the time. And literally all it is, is a vertical cylinder and a semi-transparent vertical cylinder on top. And then I kind of resize it and it ends up looking something like this. So it's really cute. And I guess we can stack some modern books, some modern books for the modern house. For the lighting, I'm going to leave that to last because I can't actually work on it while there's no roof. Okay, now kitchen. I know this is a modern house, but I refuse to use these modern counters. For example, this modern counter, $500. This shaker counter, $150. Ain't them the same and tell me which one looks better. So yeah, shaker counters for the win. We love shaker counters. Also for the fridge, I kind of want to like hide it over in this corner. So it's kind of like hidden under the stairs. So you can't really see it. Wait, should we call this fridge Harry Potter? Because it lives under the stairs. And finally our little oven. I think because this is a modern house, we're going to stick to white and gold and i added two sinks because we're fancy okay where can we put our coffee machine this is what i do i'm obsessed with adding it i have my coffee my tea and my sugar and i'm changing the material to grass so it kind of looks like coffee beans and it ends up looking something like this oh we can fit our little utensils under the stairs that's cute should we just have gold pans and utensils i'm just having gold pans i went over to my friend's house a couple weeks ago and she had gold spoons like why on earth do you need gold spoons okay last thing we need is a microwave i'm actually gonna get rid of this cabinet and put this one instead so then that way i can fit a microwave in here and it takes up less room okay and for our last little finishing touch four wall paintings and there we go we've got our little modern kitchen however we do need a dining table so i'm just going to use this traditional round table wait why have i never used this dining table before and then we can have two industrial chairs like this we can have an expensive rose in the middle okay so this section is done so now we can work on the bathroom the bathroom is actually pretty big like why did i make it so big i'm gonna add another basic shape along this wall and kind of like break the bathroom up in half okay so i'm just gonna put more basic shapes to kind of create a structure for this window which is going to take a while but okay now to make this wall even fancier i'm gonna put waterfalls against this wall and i'll show you how 
how it looks like at the end of the video. It'll look really cool. And I usually add insets into the wall, but I can't because it's made out of basic shapes. So instead for our shampoo and conditioner, we're just gonna have to use oak shelves. Okay, so that's the shower done. We can have our fancy modern toilets, take fancy poos. And then for the sink, we'll just place two of these modern bowl sinks. Also, I wasn't gonna add a bath, but we definitely have the room to. So we're gonna place a barrel bathtub along this wall. And finally, a carpet. <gasps> Wait, no, I forgot toilet paper. Guys, don't yell at me. What is this? Elegant toilet paper stand? That is the most fancy thing I've ever seen and I'm adding it. Okay, so the good news is I think that is the downstairs area done. So now we can work on the upstairs. This is gonna be very difficult. So what I have to do is place a basic shape like this, make it very big and bringing the floor up like this. And the reason I added these floors last was because if I go down here, even if I turn the roof off, the basic shape is still gonna be there. For example, are you kidding me? Oh, so I done all that for nothing. Okay, cool. The only annoying thing with adding a basic shape for the roof, the color is going to be the same color as the floor, which is gonna kind of look stupid. Let's like double layer it. It's fine, I can just copy it and layer it. Okay, we'll do that. That turned out so much better than I expected. And the good thing is I can actually turn off the roof and on the roof. Guys, that is so annoying. I wasted all my time thinking that I couldn't add lights. Okay, so I want a chandelier up here. It kind of extends into the second floor. We're gonna make this out of gold. And then along this hallway, we're gonna have some pendants but we're gonna put these pendants like all the way up to the top now usually i'm like no ew ceiling lights disgusting but in a modern house they usually add ceiling lights so i'm just gonna have to suck it up and add them okay so the lighting done we can finally work upstairs and y'all we have to use more basic shapes for these walls there we go with the upstairs door you know what don't hate the way it looks i think it looks kind of nice these doors also out here is going to be the balcony now because i want this to be like an actual balcony we're gonna have a rail out here so we're just gonna use a sleek glass railing and we'll also add some pendants to kind of brighten it up we can have a little chair out here actually no you know what's better than a chair a hanging chair and for the door i want to have a glass sliding door but like a fancy one for example i'll show you what window i want to add okay for example this door here i want to add this so we're just kind of have to try and copy this and make it as accurate as possible okay we've added the first window now we just need to add the second window and then finally the door but i need to make sure it's kind of like swung open so then we can actually go outside now we just have to use semi-transparent cubes and put that inside of the door Okay, and I think we have the frosted glass door out of basic shapes. It actually turned out so good. And now we can just do the rest of the upstairs. Wait, you know what we need on this wall? Like a massive New York City painting. I guess we can make this another little lounge room. You know what we're missing in here though? Books. We need more books. Okay, and then finally my bedroom. The bed. I want to use a bed like I haven't used that much. I feel like I haven't used this curved bed in a while. Okay, now usually what I do is add like 50,000 pillows. But because it's like a minimalistic modern house, we're only going to have two. Also, for the bedside tables, I thought it would be kind of funny if I use basic shapes because I mean it is a basic shape house and instead of a messy clothing rack I'm just gonna have a dresser and of course my own tv in my room I guess in the corner over here I can have a chair because that's what I have in my room in real life I just have like a massive lounge chair and then just like lots of pillows and blankets now the last thing I want to add in here is curtains can't use actual curtains because this is a basic shape we're going to use vertical cylinders instead okay and it ends up looking something like this so now all we have to do is add the roof which is going to be very annoying but luckily Luckily for me, I can just copy this basic shape and then kind of add it all throughout this. Okay, I added the roof, but I'm thinking I should also extend this so it's a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna go change the basic shapes, add a few gardening at the front, and then we can go inside. Okay, so the basic shape house is all complete and comes to a total of $139,000 which honestly is not that bad. I was expecting it to be way more. So here's how it looks like from the outside. And honestly, considering the outside is all made out of basic shapes, I am literally obsessed with it. Like, I think I'm actually gonna keep this house. Like, tell me this isn't the nicest modern house ever. And then coming inside, guys, I pressed E to shut the door, but I realized this is a fake door and it's made out of a basic shape. Okay, so here is how the entry area turned out. So when you walk into the entry area, you're then greeted with the bathroom in here. And this is why I added the waterfall because it kind of creates this like illusion that there's water falling. There's not much furniture in here because of course it's a modern minimalistic build. And then coming over here we have the living room. Again very simple but it's effective. It has everything you need. And then behind the lounge room we have the kitchen slash dining room. And the dining table flows very nicely into the kitchen which is over here. The color palette that I used for the kitchen was like kind of white and gold. And I love this kitchen. Now coming upstairs to the second floor. This is kind of like a second lounge room slash reading area which is perfect because it kind of fits with that whole modern vibe. We have my bedroom with, again, another basic shape door. So yeah, back here is my bedroom. I kind of copied the layout from like my bedroom in real life. I never use it, but it's there. 
And then we just have a massive modern decal. The thing I'm most impressed with this balcony is the door. Tell me this doesn't look like an actual door. This is all made out of basic shapes. Like, what? I honestly had no idea how this house would turn out. This is kind of like my fourth time building a basic shape house. So I'm really impressed with how it turned out. And yeah, I think it's pretty cute. Honestly, I, I would live in here. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on that bell notification. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.